Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, September 18th, 2018. For our disclaimer quickly, trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here with my regular Tuesday morning video. I always start these videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. As long as the Russell's moving higher, I'm adding new names to my watch list. When it's moving lower, I am getting cautious and defensive. And for that, I use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I like to step back and take a look at things on a bigger picture of five-year monthly, oops, sorry about that, point of view. So we're looking at the five-year monthly chart. As we've been talking about in my videos lately, you can see that the Russell hit this low back in early 2016 um, and then started to lift. And it's really been in this beautiful uptrend since then. So the main takeaway I want you to see from uh, this Russell chart, the five-year monthly, and these are monthly candles, is the uptrend. These lines are support resistance. This is long-term, medium-term, and short-term, which I've adjusted today. It was a little bit lower, but I am adjusting my short-term line of uh, support resistance to a little higher, right where we are, right here, right now. So that's the five-year monthly look. The important thing, I think, to remember is that We've got about nine trading days left in the month of September. It's a little bit red, a little bit of a soft candle, but we are following a bullish month. August was a bullish month with a big wide body. So I'm going to move it away from the five year monthly to the one year weekly so we can better see how price is behaving on the smaller time frame. Here's my orange line of medium support resistance. You can see how price bounced off it. It consolidated for a while, eventually bounced and then came into this upper level where we are right here right now. So the pink line here to me is oh so important and we're sitting right at it. So I want you to see that we consolidated for a number of weeks, we lifted. Last week was a doji which is an undecided candle. This week so far is soft. I'm going to move it away from the weekly to the daily in a sec but what I want you to see is Here's the only indicator really I use in my chart is this blue line, which is the eight day EMA. So price on the Russell is right at the eight day EMA on the weekly chart. And now I'm gonna switch it over to the daily chart. So we're looking at the six month daily and it's trading below the eight day EMA on the daily. So I'm gonna be extra cautious in this area. And I can see that I'm at this area of support. You can see how price took a long time uh, it consolidated for a long time before it broke through. So my pink line is an important line. The futures are looking positive this morning, so we're going to get a positive start. But I want to see follow through throughout the day, a bullish candle that lends some lift and some upward trajectory to this chart. Um, so I am not going to feature a new chart this morning, but instead I'm going to review an old Chart of the Day Cafe pick that should we get that lift, should the futures, the bounce we're getting this morning, carry on through the day, this chart is one I think is worth taking a look at. And that chart that I wanted to flag for you this morning is Apollo Management Group, ticker symbol APO, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, Apollo Management is a global alternative asset manager. So they're in the financial services space. We are looking at the five-year monthly chart, but before I get into that chart, um, you know me at Chart of the Day Cafe, I am all about the scores underneath my charts. I must have strong fundamentals, and Apollo still has, it's, it's got a value score that's not as high as I normally like it, but it's still over my threshold. So the value score is still there. It's got a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 3%. But here's why I'm putting it in front of you. Apollo has a dividend yield of 5.46%. So love that dividend and the scores are, they meet my criteria. So with that, let's get into the chart. We're looking at the five-year monthly chart. Um, you can see that Apollo, just like the Russell Index, has been in an uptrend since early 2016. Beautiful uptrend. It kind of peaked up here, came in. 
and is at an area where should the the overall markets recover it looks like it wants to take new ground so I call this sky is blue no overhead resistance on this chart which is a nice thing so I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the two-year weekly because I want you to see it was our chart of the day cafe featured chart <clears throat> here in November of 2017 I don't know if you can see that little green circle but I always mark my charts with a little green circle so price had moved up and over the blue eight-day EMA and it looked like an uptrend was about to resume and sure enough it did and then it traded below the eight day which I use as my guide when price for me goes below the eight day EMA I'm no longer interested but look at the way this chart is behaving right here right now so we had a, a somewhat bullish candle last week and should the markets recover um, with the dividend that this company pays and in a minute, I'm going to show you FinViz and the analyst coverage of this stock. It's it's very favorably looked at. I would suspect that Apollo might lift here, so we'll see. It's all about what the markets want to do overall. So that's the two-year weekly look. Now let me zoom it in for you to the six-month daily. So I can identify a very tight area of support resistance on this chart right here. So what I would be looking for in the days ahead, and as I say, it is all about, I'm going to put, change that to a pink, because I like to have my support and resistance orange, actually, I'm going to make it orange. Um, I'm looking for price to move up and over the blue, so I'm, it's early, not interested in it yet, but in the days ahead, should we get price moving up and over that blue eight-day EMA, I'm looking at a very interesting chart with great uh, good scores underneath it. So love the look of this Apollo chart, and we'll be keeping an eye on it in the days ahead. Along with my new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in, and for that we're looking at the ETF XLF, which is the ETF for the financial sector, five-year monthly chart. As you can see, it consolidated here for a while in 15 and 16, but then started this uptrend, and it's been in this nice healthy uptrend. It consolidated through 2018, um, but it looks as though should the market continue higher, the month of um, July had a bullish candle. August was a doji, undecided, so September will be a decider, I would presume, for this chart to see if we go higher from here. Um, but overall, uptrend, consolidation, and perhaps, perhaps some lift. We'll see. I also like to take a look at... Uh, Finviz to see if I've got analyst support for my watch list pick. And here we are on the um, page for Apollo. You can see that it's had a lot of upgrades of late. So that's nice to see. There's some great positive articles down here as well if you wanted to go take a look over at Finviz. As well, I like to take a look at seasonality for my new or my pick. And so this is, I go to equityclock.com, which is an excellent site. They are all about seasonality. <clears throat> We're looking at the uh, seasonal chart for the financial services sector. You can see that at this time of year, it starts to come into some seasonal favor. So I like to see that, as well as the seasonal chart for Apollo Management Group. So here we are. You can see that the back half of the year is usually pretty positive for Apollo. So no guarantee that happens again this year, but always good to know. And so to quickly recap today's video, let's go back and check the boxes for APO. I do not have this box checked because although the market is in an overall uptrend, as we noted at the beginning of today's video, the IWM, which is the ETF for the Russell Index, is sitting at the 8-day EMA on the weekly chart, right there on that pink line, and it's below the 8-day EMA on the daily chart. So I want to be extra cautious. I do not have this box checked. We looked at the five-year chart for APO and note that it's at an area of possible price strength and continuation of the uptrend. It's all about what the overall market wants to do, though, so you want to be extra uh, vigilant in watching the overall market. We looked at the uh, sector chart, the XLF ETF, uh, on the five-year chart and note that just like APO, it's in an overall uptrend, but it has been consolidating and it's looking for direction. Should the markets go higher, I would expect XLF to go higher as well. APO has a good value score. It's got a good growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 
It's got a current dividend yield of 5.46%. I do not have this box checked because it is not up and over the 8-day EMA. I look for a 3 and 8 EMA cross. It's not up and over that 8-day EMA on the daily chart. It's early. It's one to watch in the days ahead. It's got seasonality in its favor. Uh, we looked at FinViz. It's got analyst support, a current PE of 10.82, and it looks as though earnings are on November 7th. Thank you for watching today's video. As a reminder, they go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. With that, I'll leave you. See you Thursday.